What's up, this is Incognita, and these are five tracks that inspired me. I like this song because um, my birthday is February 2nd, so that is Tutu. And the brand that I like to represent is Two Time, Two Timer, the movement. And uh, and yeah, I just believe in balance and the number two. And I like how he came on the track with um, uh, almost like a spoken word. You heard people at a spoken word event and I always resonated with spoken word. I started with spoken word in my early childhood years. So um, yeah, I thought that was dope. Um, so the whole anthemic cook to it too, like I love it, I love how it goes. So yeah, 22 twos by Jay-Z, that's definitely the first pick. Second track that inspired me is uh, Power Trip by J. Cole and Miguel. I discovered this track when I was in middle school and I just thought this record was just A1. I thought this record was, I don't know, it was finally one of those rap records where I felt like as a kid I could relate to and I could actually understand, but it was deep. Like I felt like I was getting into something, like I understood something that un nobody else really knew. Um, uh, I really liked uh, growing up, I loved R&B and singers and stuff, so I loved how Miguel added his his spin on the record and added a hook. So it was altogether uh, a great record for me. Um, I loved it, I played it all the time. I even wrote my own verses to the instrumentals at times, so yeah. The third track that inspired me is probably Money Trees by Kendrick Lamar. I love this record personally because um, I just think the things that he was saying on there is very anthemic and I related to it in some type of way. And um, and yeah, he from LA, you know, I love I love Kendrick. I feel like it had a very LA feel. It featured J-Rock and it just was very, it, it was one of them for me. So I love that record by Kendrick. Okay, okay, this one's a good one. The My fourth track is Work It by Missy Elliott. Now, the reason I love this track is because this made me realize as an artist, you could really say and do what you wanna do on the track. It's not really what you say, it's kinda how you say it. Like, she really flipped and said, something, she just reversed her whole hook and then it was just something else. It was like gibberish, it sounded like gibberish to us, but we all like keep playing it at the reunions and stuff and we even try to say it ourselves. It was another anthemic record, so I just think that was just dope to see that an artist could just make their own almost language on a record and just have everybody go with it. Like I thought that was crazy, I would wanna do that. I aspire to do that in my own artistry, so yeah. Last but not least, the fifth record that inspires me is Aston Martin Music by uh, Rick Ross featuring Drake. I love this record because I feel like it's for the cool people. Like I feel like you just riding down the street in between the palm trees and you riding in the Cadillac and you just chilling, listening to your own music and it's just, it's just a vibe. So I just always felt like it was a vibe. I resonated with that. I, I always tried to be a vibe, so I, when that song came on, I just instantly fell into that. So, yeah, Aston Martin music, it just got the whole thing, yeah. 